Welcome to Specific Lift. Today I'm going to show you how I built some simple drawers. Let's begin. Now my son has had this rolling cabinet drawer thingy in his room for a while now. And as you can see here, he stuffed a bunch of stuff into it and the shelves are just falling down. They're just like a fabric type shelf and oh, they're a pain to get in and out. So uh, I wanted to see if I could upgrade this for him. Now that I have all the drawers pulled out, it is a relatively sturdy frame. It is light duty metal, but the way it's all put together, I think it's still pretty good and sturdy. It has some slots here for each of the drawers. I have four on this side and three on this side. And the top here, I believe it's probably MDF or something along those lines, but it's still pretty sturdy, so we're gonna leave it. So, let's build some drawers. Now first off, of course, we need to take some measurements. That's about 13, it's about 13 and a half, and this is about five and three quarters. Now, I've already pre-measured these and the ones above it. These vary just a little bit in height versus the others. So we're gonna limit this to about five and a half for height. That way, in case these drawers get mixed around, they're not gonna cause an issue. Another thing to take into consideration is that these have open sides. If this was a closed off wall, then you wouldn't have to worry about having the drawers the full height here. But since this is open, things can easily fall at the side or fall over and get stuck trying to get them to pull out. So that's why we have to make them really tall. Also take in consideration when you're building your drawers that you need to know exactly how much room you need for the slides, whether they're gonna be on the bottom, on the sides, or wherever they're at. Fortunately, mine on my cabinet here already has some built in, so I'm not worried about that. Now for this project, I'm gonna be using some half inch birch plywood. I'd suggest making at least half inch on the sides, and that way everything's nice and rigid and you don't have to worry about them falling apart. So, let's cut this down. Now to make this first cut, I'm gonna be using a circular saw. But I've also lined the area here with some painter's tape. This should help reduce some of the tear out when you make the cut. Now sometimes when you're making your cuts, you still get some blowout even with the tape on there. Here's another idea that'll help you get an even finer cut if that's your problem. You first wanna set up your blade really shallow. You're actually gonna be making two cuts and the first cut is just gonna cut through the top layer of fibers and then you'll make your full cut. All right, let's watch this as I pull the tape off. Look at there, almost perfectly sharp. Now that we have all the drawers cut to height, I'm gonna take them over to the miter saw and cut out the lengths and widths. Now it's time to prep all those sides for assembly. In my case, I'm just gonna be using pocket screws. That seems to be one of the simplest ways to do it. Now, of course, you could do dovetails, dados, rabbits, and it can get kinda of complicated, but pocket screws, it should be the simplest, so we're gonna drill some of those holes. Another thing to take in consideration is if your wood has any kind of a warp to it. If that is the case, you wanna make sure that warp goes to the inside of the drawer. And that way, the base that we're going to apply here in just a little bit is kind of pinched together and holds it even better. Now remember when you drill in the pocket holes, it needs to go in the front and back boards. In my case, it's the 12 inch pieces, not the 13 inch pieces, so just keep that straight. It's also a good idea to mark the bottoms of your board. You're not gonna see the bottoms anyway, and if you do this, you'll be able to keep the direction a lot easier. And to speed up this process, since I have to make two holes, and I'm trying to do it about an inch and a half from each end, I've set up some clamps here to actually be my stop blocks. That way I can drill a hole, move over, drill a hole, flip it, do the same, and have these done really quick. Now for the smaller drawers, I'm only using two screws, but for the larger ones, I'm using three just for some added support. Now it's a good time to go over everything. Try and go with the grain with some sandpaper just to remove some of this excess burrs here. Now that we have all the pocket holes in place, I wanna cut some grooves in the bottom here to actually put in, this I believe is hardboard, to put this as uh, just a slide in base for it. And to do that, I'm gonna come up roughly about 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom here, and we're gonna cut a groove roughly about halfway into each of these boards. And that should give plenty of strength on the bottom to hold it and plenty of room for this board to slide in. Now there's a good chance we'll probably have to do two cuts on this to cut that exactly the width we want. So let's get started on that. Now I've set up my table saw here so that the blade is about a quarter of an inch above the actual table. 
and that way it'll make a nice groove. We want to make sure we're, and this is going to be the outside here with the pocket holes. So we're going to make sure all of the pieces are facing correctly. That'll be the inside of each of the drawers. We're going to make one pass with every single board, and then we're going to go back and slightly move the fence over and make one board cut until everything fits nicely in the groove, and then we'll take the rest of the boards and proceed the same way. Wow, perfect fit. Sometimes you get lucky in the first try. Now, I'm gonna send the rest of these through to table saw again. Now set this up for just a quick measurement. This side, I know it should be 13. And if I did this correctly, this should be 13 as well. And it is. All right, for the insert, I'm gonna be cutting out a piece and inserting it inside, but it needs to be roughly a half inch shorter. So in other words, I need to have it 12 and a half by 12 and a half, and that means it should go into each of these boards about a quarter inch. Now that we have a cutout, I'm gonna put everything together for the first drawer just to make sure everything fits, and then we can always modify if we have to. Sometimes it's easiest to go ahead and screw one corner together so everything will start lining up. All right, now we're gonna screw it all together. Now let's give this a nice test fit. And that fits in there nicely. Now I have the pocket screws on the front and the back and right now it looks pretty ugly. But just remember we're gonna be putting a false front or in most drawers you will put a false front on them so that these will not be seen. And the ones on the back, because they're at the back of the drawer, you won't see them. Anyway, you want to make sure that the sides that are really nice are on the side, so when they do get pulled out, that's what you see. So, that's a simple way to make a drawer. I've also noticed that the current slides that are on this frame are not exactly straight, so no matter what I do, this front is gonna be a little bit off, so we're just gonna do our best. Now to attach these, I'm gonna use two one inch screws, but to keep it from protruding through the front, I'm gonna use a couple large washers. And there we go with the new face on it. I still need to paint this. I'm probably gonna do a satin black so it matches the rest of this frame. And I'm gonna put a nice little knob right in the middle. Now on this drawer, I tested out something a little different. I want satin black on the sides and a polyurethane on the front. And I think that really just pops. So I added a knob, and I think I'm gonna do this on the rest of the drawers. And here's the before, and here's the after. Now that's one heck of a difference, just changing out some drawers. Another thing to keep in mind when you're building, whether it's new construction or redoing old furniture like myself here, is to take in consideration the size and depth or width that you might need for your rollers and slides. You might have to make some slight modifications for that, but just keep that in mind, otherwise it should be pretty simple and easy. Now I hope you get to have a chance to get out in your shop and have fun building. Now the bitty. Bitty? <laughs> drawers. Dang it. <laughs> If I can get it back in there. Get out take there. <laughs>